Page 182. Activity 5. Taking Notes. Part 1. Dr. Harris, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. To begin, could you tell us the meaning of the term Generation Y? Sure. Generation Y refers to young Americans who were born between the late 1970s and the early 1990s. Uh, that is, between 1977 or 1978 and 1993 or 1994. Uh, in other words, the youngest ones are still teenagers and the oldest ones are young adults. And there are more than 70 million of them. Is that number significant? Well, it is extremely significant. Generation Y is the second largest generation in U.S. history. And by the year 2020, it will be the largest. So this generation is the future market for almost all consumer brands. Uh, marketers know they have to stay in touch with this generation if they want their products to succeed. What are some of the most important characteristics of this generation? Well, first let me give you some statistics, okay? One-fourth, that is one in four people in this generation, grew up in single-parent homes. Three-fourths, I mean 75%, have mothers who work. And one-third are not Caucasian. To put it another way, this is the most diverse generation in U.S. history. Would you say they are tolerant? Very tolerant. Also optimistic, confident, independent, and rich. Rich? Explain that. Okay, uh, here are some more statistics. According to a study by the Harris Company, members of Generation Y have total incomes of $211 billion a year. They spend an average of $30 on every trip to the mall. And if you have teenagers, you know that this generation practically lives at the mall. Page 184. Activity 7. Taking Notes. Part 2. 211 billion. That's an incredible amount of money. What do they spend it on? Oh, fashion, fast food, movies, CDs, electronics, concert tickets. Generation wires like to have fun. Are there special brands that this generation prefers? No, not in the way that their parents preferred Levi jeans or SUVs. Generation Wire is like anything that's hip or hot at the moment, but that can change very fast. So what do marketers need to know if they want to sell to this group? I think the main thing to remember is that this is the Internet generation, the generation of instant messaging. They have grown up with the media, so they are very smart shoppers. They don't like traditional advertising techniques. And as I said, they, said they are not loyal to specific brands. And they love fads. Like right now, graphic t-shirts and flip-flops are totally in. Is Generation Y found only in the U.S., or is it in other countries as well? Well, Generation Y is actually an international phenomenon, although it has different characteristics in different countries. In Eastern Europe, for example, it's the first generation to grow up without communism. And in other countries, like oh, Korea and Greece, this is the first generation to grow up with a high standard of living. These young people want to be modern. I mean, they're not interested in the traditional way of life. Also, they identify more closely with the West, and that can cause conflict between them and the generations that came before them. Dr. Harris, before we conclude, may I ask you a personal question? Go ahead. What generation are you? <laughs> I'm a baby boomer, born in 1960. But my daughter, who was born in 1984, is Generation Y. And believe it or not, <laughs> she loves listening to my old Beatles records. No kidding. Dr. Harris, this has been very interesting. Thank you for being with us today. You're welcome. Page 187. Focused Listening. Yes-No Questions with Do, Does, or Did. It can be difficult to understand present and past yes-no questions with pronoun subjects. Such questions are often reduced and linked, so it can be hard to hear the difference between do, does, and did. For example, Do I look tired? Do I look tired? 
Did he own a car? Did he own a car? It may be almost impossible to hear the difference between do we and did we, or between do they and did they. In those cases, you may need to listen to the context to tell if the question is present or past. Page 187. Activity 1. Yes-no questions with do, does, or did. 1. Do I look tired? Do I look tired? 2. Did I look tired? Did I look tired? 3. Do you live with your parents? Do you live with your parents? 4. Did you live with your parents? Did you live with your parents? 5. Does he own a car? Does he own a car? 6. Did he own a car? Did he own a car? 7. Does she need any help? Does she need any help? 8. Did she need any help? Does she need any help? 9. Do we have any homework? Do we have any homework? 10. Did we have any homework? Did we have any homework? 11. Do they live together? Do they live together? 12. Did they live together? Did they live together? Page 188. Activity 2. Distinguishing among do, does, and did. 1. Do you have time to eat lunch? 2. Does he play the piano? 3. Did they need help? 4. Do I look like my sister? 5. Did she understand the instructions? 6. Do we sound good? 7. Did they own a house? 8. Do we need to rewrite the composition? Page 188. Activity 3. Do, does, and did in questions. 1. Did he decide to take the job? 2. When do we eat? 3. Do I have to rewrite this composition? 4. Where did we park the car? 5. Do they know what to do? 6. Did she miss the bus again? 7. Do you usually walk to school? 8. Did you remember to turn off the light? Page 189. Focus on testing. Using context clues. Conversation 1. Look at that! Isn't it interesting? I love the colors and shapes. What's it supposed to be? It's not supposed to be anything. It's modern. Don't try to analyze it. Well, how much does it cost? Let's see. $5,000. What do you think? Question 1. What are the speakers talking about? $5,000? For that painting? I don't think so. 